And here's the problem. You see, the TT was never fast enough to make up the time you lost by getting ready. Now, however, there's a new version. It's still four-wheel drive, but it comes with a whopping 3.2-litre V6, the same engine they put in the hot golf. It certainly sounds good. They've used the same exhaust technology that we first saw, I think, the Ferrari 355, so it's very quiet when you're cruising and then a bit snorty when you're not. There's no turbo lag either, so it's got press-and-go acceleration to match your wash-and-go shampoo. However, because it's quite a heavy engine, you only get something like five brake horsepower per tonne more than you got in the old turbo car, so it's only slightly faster. The engine, then, hasn't solved the problem. You're going to arrive looking good, but you're still going to be late. There is, however, another time-saving device in here. It's got a flappy paddle gearbox. Now, normally I hate these things because they don't work properly, but I hate this one for a different reason. You see, it's new. And that means I've got to try and make what they've done sound interesting. God help me. The idea is that I'm in second gear now, but there's a second clutch which already has third gear spinning and ready to go. So when I pull this lever, bang, the change is completely instant. And now the clutch that did have second gear is preparing fourth. How mind-numbingly boring is that? Apparently, each change takes 0.02 of a second. That's nearly amazing. And about 0.4 of a second faster than you can change gear yourself. 0.4 of a second? So, imagine how much time that saves you over a journey. This is time you could spend at home cleaning. You could plait your ear hair. Imagine how good that would look. You don't seem to be able to catch it out either. I've just gone first, second, third. So it's bound to assume I want fourth next. But I've suddenly decided, old second. And it did it. How did it know? How did it know what I was going to do next? It's witchcraft. I must say, this is the only flappy paddle gearbox that works. But there is a price to pay. And the price is the price. This car is very nearly £30,000, and I'm sorry, but that really is far too much.